Hey everybody, it's Larry. I'm doing the weekly contest 173 uh, or 73rd on the lead coat. 20 seconds to go. Wish me good luck. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave some comments if you like or if you have questions. Uh, also, uh, there's a link somewhere on my Twitch channel, so if you want to ask me stuff in real life uh, or real time, uh, you know, hit me up, follow. Uh, anyway, two seconds. Let's go. Cool. Uh, starting right off. Uh, oh yeah, Happy New Year. You're celebrating the, uh, the Lunar New Year, uh, or Chinese New Year, wherever it is. I should, I, looking back, I should have one where I was... Luckily, I guess that didn't come into play. Uh, but for yeah, the first problem, um, yeah, I mean, I, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, this is a really hard one for an easy problem. I don't get it. Uh, like, I, mean, I get the idea of the problem, but I don't get how this could be easy. And I look at the problem again, I think maybe now, hopefully. Um, I was like, hmm. Yeah, still a little tricky. I think I, I don't know the exact, or I can't remember the exact timing. I mean, it's within the first minute or two. Um, because I submit this in two minutes, but but yeah, I really it's kind of weird that like you know, but I just I was like, oh, the base case is zero. That that's fair, uh, and then I think I find out now, which is already a minute into this problem, uh, which is longer than you know it should be really okay. to be honest. Um, I realized that I think maybe now I was like, oh. This is uh I realized that now that the alphabet is only A's and B's. So that was the critical part that I missed was that you limit to only A's and B's. Because uh, because I was thinking about a more general case and in a more general case, well I don't know how to do it to be honest. Uh at least, I mean it'll be some like dynamic programming thing I suspect, uh and a hard one at that. But but seeing that it was only A A's and B's, I know that what I have to do is check to see if they're palindrome. Uh, I was going to do the end over two, but then I was unsure about the off by one, so I just did the entire way. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right, in theory. So, um, so yeah. So basically, I just did the check to the power drum. Uh, if it's a power drum, then you um, then you could do it in one one edit. If not, then uh, I didn't even bother checking like the input cases, because um, I feel like if this is the wrong algorithm, then like it is the wrong implementation. It doesn't really. Uh, like I didn't really need to copy it, but uh, but yeah, cool. <coughs> got it submitted, got it done. Problem two. Um, yeah, so this one, uh, it seemed pretty straightforward. Um, I mean, there was a lot of reading, but it's just essentially this some sort of filter type thing, and I have to implement it. Um, uh, fil filter and sorting. Um, I think I did make a. I mean, well, no, I think, but. You see that I make a critical uh, mistake a little bit later, but I still did it relatively quickly because, I mean, this is a really straightforward thing, and probably to be honest, the closest thing to uh, real life uh, as it gets, uh, because in real life you actually probably do something like this more often. Uh, I mean, obviously in real life there's some system design -y thing, but that's another that's a story for another time. Ask me about stories, um, but also maybe a funny story is that I actually work at worked at two companies that dealt with restaurants and locations and stuff. So anyway, that's not important. Um, but yeah, so I think the biggest thing for me was just copying and pasting the, the, what the array meant, uh, what the inputs are. So, uh, so as soon as I did that, I was pretty straightforward. I think there's actually, a, I skipped a little bit ahead. I didn't really read all the, oh, I mean, I think I've read the idea, but I don't think I got it precisely. Uh, and you'll see kind of what I mean. I, I make two kind of mistakes one one is not super costly the other one is way more costly um at least in terms of time um as you'll kind of see Uh, yeah, and this is just uh, putting things that we care about that we could sort by. Uh, I think one thing to note was that um, I think at this point I knew what I'm supposed to be sorted by, but um, I, I don't know. I just didn't really put it together in my head, um, if that makes sense. 
Uh, so I, I run the code. Uh, I, I was like, okay, that looks okay-ish for the first one. Let's uh, and something that Lico could um, you know, make the experience a little bit better about is um, oh yeah, and uh, well, I actually got the first one wrong. So uh, because I didn't sort by ratings, um, or like I sorted in the the smallest to largest order, which is not what we want. Um, but yeah, uh, so one critical, so that was the number one mistake. Uh, the other critical mistake, well, no, no, that, there was another one actually. So I guess three mistakes now that I think, remember it. Uh, so right now I was like, okay, that is not the answer. Um, and I had to like look at, um, and thankfully this is one thing that I do appreciate the code for doing this uh, contest was that they actually have a clarification on example two. So, um, so the re uh, vegan friendly means that there's no filters, not that you have to filter it by uh, whatever. So, um, so I just added a thing. Uh, I think the kind of critical mistake here was that I didn't really look. I mean, I looked at the exact, and then I think right then, uh, if you really pay attention carefully, uh, mm -hmm. this, the uh, the results are actually wrong. This is on the examples, so that's not acceptable for my part. Uh, I think I just I thought they mo looked mostly right, um, but it was not. And I was trying to get that test case back, but I lost that test case. And then I, because I, at the time I wasn't sure that that was the number two or example number two. Uh, but I, I knew what, I, what was wrong. Uh, once I saw this, I was like, oh, I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, uh, yeah, I didn't sort by the larger index. Uh, but I did want to, uh, so that cost me a couple of minutes. Uh, well, yeah, a couple of minutes and the five minutes penalty, which cost me not me out of top ten. <laughs> I'll spoil it. Uh, but yeah, I actually wanted to find that case again just to make sure because I wasn't sure that I was the input. Uh, but I, it, you know, there's no way that it gives you the test case again, so I needed to copy oh, and paste the next time somewhere case. else. Uh, but yeah, but here I was like, yeah, what else could it be? And I just submit it. Wasn't sure, got my fingers crossed. We, good luck, but it accepted. So I was like, ah, oh, silliness. But um, but yeah. Find the city with the smallest or fewest, if you will, uh, number of neighbors at a threshold distance. Um, yeah, so this one was, to be honest, the, the title is what it um, what it tells you. Um, I, I wanted to read just in case, and this is uh, an unweighted, oh sorry, a weighted graph, uh, obviously. Um, I'm gonna take a quick look at n is equal to 100. Uh, so I was like, okay, this is just a, st um, uh, oh, I think I said for first search on the other later on, so I was wrong. Uh, I, what I meant was like a dice draw thing. So, um, so I was actually wrong in, in my recollection. If you skip ahead, um, you know, so that's wrong. So, <laughs> what I'm saying now is right, uh, which is that. And my thought was that I was like, okay, let me create an adjacency list uh, and then do some sort of dice draw. Um, but not yet. I actually. So, what my thought right now, actually, to be honest was that I was like, okay, let me just do breath first search uh, and it'll be okay. For some reason, it, I mean, I knew it was Dijkstra as soon as I had to implement it, but at, in this moment in time, I was, I don't know, I guess I've just been doing a lot of breath first search. Uh, so I was thinking that'll be breath first search, it'll be NQ, it'll be fine, uh, conceptually. Um, I, I do fix this, so, uh, and I did get it right even in six minutes, so uh, so no uh, no worries, don't, don't, don't worry, Larry. The, uh, the other Larry will, will do you okay. Um, but yeah, for now, now I'm like, okay, let's just write out what. So it seems very easy. There's in that uh, maybe you could take advantage of some sub problems, but uh, but I was just like, okay, the brute force should be fast enough. N is a hundred. I shouldn't have to worry. Um, and then I just basically put put out the line or. Uh, uh, um, yeah, just do the logic. Um, and here I, I was, the one thing that I was remembering doing was like, okay, this is greater than equal to because we want the greater index. So if it's equal to, then like the later it comes, the better it is. I guess I could have also iterate the other way uh, to be kind of consistent with how I usually do it. Uh, but that's my logic. Uh, and also if you uh, could spot a difference uh, or spot an issue, um, I actually thought for some reason I had to get the max and not the min, even though I know that we talked about fewest already. 
uh, and I was even making fun of it. But I think like it just feels more natural that that's something you want to do instead of fewest. It's almost like you're anti-social and want want no no other city nearby. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing, but um, but yeah, I think at this point I I was like. Huh, I have to implement a deck, right? But like, no, it's mm -hmm. not a. Actually, I can't. It's, it's it's not a deck for search. Oh, sorry, it's not a breath for search. Um, and I looked at N. I was like, oh, N is a hundred. Actually, I could just do Void Warshaw. Uh, and that's essentially what I did. Um, I'm, I'm and it's been a long time since I did Void Warshaw, to be frank. So, uh, so I was just trying to be a little bit careful, uh, or not careful, just like remembering what it was. I mean, I've, I think I've done this a lot of times already, Ford Warshaw in general, but sometimes you're just a little rusty. Uh, I think I could have just rewrote this, but I, I was like, I, I did the uh, edge parsing already, so I, I saved no time on deleting and, and undoing. But um, but yeah, so this is set up to Ford Warshaw, and then just the actual Ford Warshaw. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I have a good recollection of Ford Warshaw. And one of the reasons why is that it is one of the first uh, competitive programming algorithms that I learned. Uh, and to be honest, when I first learned it, and it is just a fun trivia while we wait, is that when I learned it, I still I didn't know why the dynamic or why. One, why is it dynamic programming, and why did dynamic programming work? Uh, there's a lot of so I just kind of used it as a black box of code, like, hey, wow, with three four loops you can do, you know, anything really. Like this is crazy, right? Uh, I mean, I yeah, this was actually probably about eighteen years now. So, <laughs> but yeah, now I do the count, and then I'm like, okay, let's just. Um, I think that was. I mean, essentially that's done, right? So that was very quick. I didn't have, and I'm just very confident because. It literally is, um, you know, two for loop, three for loops, and I've win those for loops one before, and then after I win those for loops one before, I was able to write the for loops correctly, <laughs> uh, because I'm like, oh yeah, remember that time you messed up? I'm like, yeah, okay. So please try to write it correct. Uh, unfortunately, my answers were wrong. So I was like, oh, why is that the case? I look at it, I'm like, eh, that looks okay. I, I look at uh, the output and look at the graph. I'm like, okay, and then I looked again. I think about now, I was like, oh. Uh, fewest, not the most, um, or the least. So I just had to, uh, well, change the, uh, the sano and the signs, and then, yeah. And, uh, and also, the lead code servers was relatively fast today, to, to the credit of uh, the lead code servers. They've been having issues the last couple of weeks, but this week has been great. Um, to accept it, done. Uh, minimum yeah, difficulty done. of a job schedule. Um, yeah, what do I say? I think this one is very ad hoc. Uh, and then when I refreshed, uh, just to kind of get, I was like, two people some accepted already. Uh, just to kind of get a gauge of difficulty. Uh, I mean, not that that's um, an occasion of anything, but when, you, when you're not like the pace setter, when you're like, you know, in the middle of the pack like I am, uh, you know, some... Sometimes it's an indication of like, well, if people can finish this problem and three other problems, maybe, uh, in 12 minutes, then, you know, this should be doable by me, right? Um, but yeah, I think I was just spending a lot of time trying to understand the problem. Uh, but overall, I think I knew it was dynamic programming right away. Uh, I think I was debating. <laughs> I was spending some time debating whether I should do top down or bottoms up. But I was like, okay. Uh, let's save the bottoms up for kind of uh, up solving and, and solving it later. Uh, let's try because I think I did not have an intuitive dynamic programming solution for this. Uh, like I wasn't like, okay, I know what to do. It's done, right? I mean, I think I got the sense that it was dynamic programming. I think that was reasonable, but just knowing that it's dynamic programming is not sufficient to solve it as a dynamic programming problem, uh, which is why. Ooh, which is why dynamic programming is so tricky, and why the, everyone is trying to, you know, do them. It's it's all. It always feels like you know you have all these like random, uh, tangent techniques, but they're all um, they're all ad hoc a little bit in some way. 
uh, and it's about like really thinking about how to uh, go about um, the questions. Uh, and the way I always think about it is I just ask myself, uh, people get mathematical about it, but I actually just uh, frame it in terms of um, uh, frame it in terms of an English question, like, okay, what is the best uh, answer that, you know, this X, Y thing has or something like that, right? And for this one, uh, what is the minimum difficulty of a job schedule after D-Day or after with D-Days left uh, or after D-Days or something like that? Because uh, I think I got it a little bit confused and you'll see some of the confusion of implementation. And right now, uh, to be honest, I think I was stalling a little bit for time because this is very temporary. Uh, but I thought that that would be the index and that would be maybe okay. I didn't know what went in the middle. I didn't know what the base case was. Uh, but I figured this was roughly right. Uh, but yeah, it's just setting things up. Uh, so now I was thinking about the base case. What is the base case? Well, you actually need one... Um, uh, you, you need one... Um, you need one job a day at least, right? So... Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, so I'm just kind of like thinking in my head, literally what I asked myself just now. Uh, so okay, so if, the, if there are no days left, what does it mean? Um, I think I, I was in my head a little bit off by one. Uh, I do change this later. I was like, okay. Uh, I think what I meant in this if statement was that I was like, okay, if there's one day left, what does that mean? Well, you have to do the rest of the job, uh, which is true. But I was like, can you do a little, like I was asking myself, like, um, like, can you do a little bit better as an edge case, right? I think that's always, because um, you don't want to, I think for me, uh, especially when it comes to, uh, and it doesn't always work out that way, but the least duplication of code you have, the least uh, probability of typos and stuff like that, and that's always scary. Uh, but yeah, for, for now, this is what I have, and this is, this is actually correct in theory. Uh, if you assume that uh, days is equal to one instead of zero, because if there's no days left, then um, yeah. And I was thinking about the other cases. Okay, what if we ran out of jobs? Then uh, I was like, okay, we ran out of jobs, then we have to return infinity. Uh, and I was just trying to figure out what infinity should be. Uh, some say no case. I mean, and I just picked some big number sufficient in this case. <coughs> um, excuse me, bless you. Um, yeah, and I was like, okay, actually, um, yeah, so now I changed it, and that's pretty much it, and then I was like, okay, so let's say those are the, I think in my mind, I was like, okay, days is equal to zero, that's fine, so uh, so now what, what are the transitions, right, uh, so we just worked out the base cases, and I was like, okay, I'm actually counting down instead of counting up, so I changed the goal, uh, though you'll see that I still make a silly mistake later, because, I don't know, I've done this in both directions before, uh, like similar things in both directions before. Uh, so I was like, okay. And actually, like, you could do a quick loop, but, but essentially, um, the cost, even though I named it score, uh, will be kind of the running max uh, because of basically just it's like, okay, for today, if you spend it on uh, the, the jobs between index and K, uh, what is the score? Well, it's just the max between index and K. That's essentially what I did. Uh, I make a few typos here that actually end up causing me a few minutes, it seems like. Uh, I mean, because essentially this is done if it, it was correct. Um, but I got one time error. Uh, and let's say if I submitted it now, I guess I would have been eh, maybe still like 13, 14, even with the five minute error. So definitely. Uh, Eh, it cost me. I mean, everyone, because this is a quick prompt that a lot of people on the top you have. So, um, yeah, and I have to also uh, well fix that. So at least, I mean, that was necessary. So, uh, so it's a good thing that I got caught. Um, uh, I was like, eh, still getting negative ones. Not sure why, but let's uh, put in more cases and kind of see if we could narrow it down. And uh, well, one was that I just have no base cases. I was like, okay, there should be a base case where it's zero. <laughs> uh, otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so I kind of did that. Um, and the reason is that, like, uh, what is that saying is like, okay, if you have no more jobs and no more days left, then you're good. 
otherwise, if you have any of the other left damage, then you have, didn't mash them at the end, and all the jobs didn't get done, so it's infinity. But unfortunately, I was still kind of... Um, I mean, maybe you could spot the typo, because I mean, I do, eventually. I was like, huh, that's not great. Um, and it... Yeah, I, I needed to do that. That's one. Um, so that fixed one of them. So I was like, oh, yeah, why is that that one? I was like, okay, because it's per, it, N is equal to Q. So I was like, hmm, uh, huh. I mean, the good thing about that in programming is that there are not that many lines of code, but uh, you could see that for a brief second. And luckily, it is still wrong. Um, I mean, in that the, the example case, it still tells me I'm wrong. Uh, so I don't submit it by accident. I was like, huh. Am I missing something obvious here? Um, not quite sure, but you'll see. I just had another typo. That's the short answer. Um, I was trying to figure out like what is the best answer for this one, and is that well? Uh, and then I'm just looking at my corner, like spot the mistake. So anyway, the other Larry will probably talk in a second. So thank you. Unlimited? No. Okay, cool. Timing was all... timing is always scary when it comes to these things. But one silly mistake yeah, on the sorting. So um, otherwise I would be 14. But oh. Yeah, otherwise right now I would be 14, but um, I guess we have to wait until five minutes for this stupid penalty. <sighs> Oh, maybe a little bit higher because th some of these other people have penalties as well. But uh, it seems like not in the top 10, but uh, would mm, would have been the 11th if I didn't have that silly, silly mistake. Huh, huh, huh. Whew. Overall, a good contest, obviously. Um, even though it's going to climb down a little bit um, as people kind of submit and stuff like this. So I'm warming down a little bit, um, but cool. Let's go over the uh, contest a little bit. Uh, the first one, we move palindromic subsequence. So I think when I first saw this, I was like, this is impossible. But I, when I first read this, I also did not read the first line where it's only A and B. Once I realized it's only A and B, then, you know, um, and I kind of have a good idea. Um, I implemented is palindrome really quickly, but basically if it's palindrome, then you can move it in one step. If it's empty string, which I think I would have gotten wrong, to be honest, um, because I tried to rush it a little bit too much. Uh, but because it's an example, I was like, okay, so I checked for it. Um, I mean, like, it would have cost me five minutes, but not a big deal. Um, yeah, so the two step is, the, the, the case where it's only always two is that you remove all, all the A's and then all the B's. And it doesn't matter how you do it, right? So it's always going to be two at most. Uh, but except for if there's a power drum, then you can do it in one step. So that was the first one. I got it in about two minutes. But like I said, I spent a little bit of time misreading that one because I I was like, wow, this is a really hard one for easy. But, um, but yeah, it's only MB, so the alphabet is only two, so that's easier. Uh, this one, I mean, this one is just pretty straightforward as well. Um, I've, eh, the f stupid five minutes is that... Uh, like, I, I spent all the time copying, pasting all the uh, example codes, but I think I misread the output. I think, you know, there's something automated, then I would have caught that. Um, but that's no one's fault but my own. Uh, that cost me five minutes just on a stupid uh, sorting thing. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, you just kind of follow the rules. Uh, I also, I think some of that was that because my first time when I was a little bit more careful, uh, I didn't realize that vegan friendly equals zero means that you get all of them. Uh, so then as soon as I saw that, like, it was five numbers instead of two numbers or whatever it was. Uh, I submitted it, but I probably should have double check. So that cost me five minutes. But otherwise, it's just follow the rules and then sorting. So pretty straightforward problem. Um, uh, yeah, I was debating kind of maybe doing this in one line, but I'm not good enough to kind of put that on my head. I just want to make sure. Excuse me. And also, the other thing is that, like, you know, if I make a mistake, then I know that how I could fix it very quickly. Which it turned out that way, versus like we have one liner sometimes. It, oh man, sometimes it gets a little complicated. But yeah, but that was my one silly mistake was that I forgot to sort by the higher index. Um, I think I 
like I, I remember reading it from highest to lowest, and then I, I was like, okay, just be sure you do it. But then, I think because I forgot about the vegan thing, I kind of left it on my head and took five minutes of penalty. Uh, find a city with the smallest number of neighborhoods, neighbors in a threshold distance. So this one took six minutes. I uh, probably could have been faster. I think my my well, there are two, a couple of things. One is um, I was going to do it with breathless search, uh, and then I realized. Um, that you would have to, so, so my thought logic was something like, okay, I need a breathless search on each city, uh, or pairs, um, shortest path. Uh, and then, and then when I looked at N again, I was like, well, that's going to be N cubed though, right? Uh, and then I looked at N again and I was like, oh, N is only a hundred. And then when I was like, okay, N cubed, then actually I could just do Floyd Warshaw, which is way easier to, to write. And that, I mean, it cost me a minute to change, but like, it was so easy to write. Uh, but I, I actually, um, yeah, and I, I just took a couple of, like I had to debug a little bit, which is unfortunate because I returned the the biggest, uh, the one of the most cities and there was the fewest cities. Uh, also fewest, come on. <laughs> uh, I'm just teasing. But um, but yeah, and then I don't, from that it's just Floyd Wall shows, but you could do it in breath for searches. And this is the same idea. And I kind of did it like the, the skeleton of it other than reading. It's just that, I knew that it would be, even given that I've written the beginning of breathless search, I knew that it would be way less error prone if I just do Floyd Warshaw sure, because I've done that a billion times. Uh, I've done the BFS a billion times too, but there's more to type and then the more more potential for typos, right? So yeah. Uh, took eight minutes the last one. I mean, it, this is dynamic programming. I had a couple of typos, but I mean, it was not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. I still only took about eight minutes. Um, I think I had off by one time. Well, I think I was just inconsistent about counting up and counting down. At days I was counting down and, and the index I was counting up. So I have certain like index um, issues there. But overall, this is n square. Uh, well, I mean, technically, uh, d times uh, the job length. Um, I was also maybe, I thought maybe I needed to do something that um, required use, taking advantage of this, to be honest. And maybe there's like, um, Maybe there is another. I mean, there probably is another dynamic programming that you can kind of based off that. But uh, but you can really be d times three hundred times. I mean, that's this is the number of space d times n, uh, and then and then it's d times n square because you know this is n and for each one for uh, for the total running time. And with Python, I always get a little scared about running time. But though looking back. For some reason, when I was thinking that I thought n was a thousand, which I thought maybe a little bit close, but with n is equals three hundred, that was no issue at all, really. But uh, you never know. It took the test to, took a little bit longer to run. Uh, but yeah, but overall, this was a lucky contest for me. I mean, we'll see how where I end up. Twenty um, first. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, so I guess this is probably the locked in. So I'm twenty first. Uh, overall, not a bad contest. Uh, for my my highest finish, though, if I didn't spend this five minutes, I would have been, where was it? Uh, I would have been the 11th, and also maybe a little bit lower because I had to, you know, spend time fixing that debug and have to modify it and stuff like this. So, I mean, it's not a, I mean, it's not me, it's just me trying to make myself feel better that in theory, like, that silly mistake, maybe I could have been top 10, which would have been a, a high score for me. Uh, 21st is also a high score for me, so I, I feel great. Uh, but yeah, that's all going to be good for tonight. Um, now, for those of you celebrating Happy New Year, I have a uh, Happy Year of the Rat or my, Mouse Rat. But um, but yeah, uh, overall a great contest. Um, I mean, great for me anyway. Uh, and yeah, have a good night.